What is up guys, it's NCR Ranger Gaming here, and I'm going to show you how to play all your GameCube and your Wii games on your PC. It's pretty simple. Basically, what you're going to do, you're going to go to your internet browser, you're going to search up Dolphin Emulator, you're going to go to Download, it should be the second one or something, some shit like that. Skip all these ones right here, because honestly, these are development versions, they aren't as stable as the official ones, so just go to Dolphin 4.02, download it, install it pretty self-explanatory. Now you want to see how to get the games. You can either do this legally by dumping the files from your GameCube or Wii game onto your computer, or you can do it illegally, which is the way most people do it. But I take no responsibility if you get caught. Disclaimer. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. Watch the video. Yeah. So basically, you're going to search up whatever game you want. The Zelda Wind Waker ISO. You can search up ROM. I use ISO just because, I don't know, whatever. They're the same. Download links. It's gonna scroll you down, and you go to download Legends of Zelda: Wind Waker. It should take you to another page, and it says direct download. Hit that. It'll tell you to save it. I recommend it saving it to an extra drive. Don't save it to your Windows. You should never save anything here. But yeah, save it to an extra drive if you can. If not, do what the fuck you want. I don't care. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your uh, drive up. I save it to my games here, and I choose here I have this folder. Sometimes you'll get this one instead. Uh, just extract it and you'll get the folder or whichever way around. Just make sure you get the folder. You're gonna extract this file right here. It's S3 slash or hyphen ZLDWW. It's the only RAR file here. You'll see a bunch of other ones. But you need to make sure you're using this one. So once you do that, you can use a uh, 7-zip. I use 7-zip. Just go to extract here. I'm not gonna show you how because I already have extracted up here. So yeah. What you want to do is you're not opening your uh, dolphin shortcut whenever you gotta make it who gives a fuck so there are a few settings that you need to optimize to get the game running right or it's gonna freeze so go to your configuration make sure to have these two enabled if you have a dual core PC have this one enabled if you don't don't uh, use the GLT recompiler recommended it's the best one honestly interface use these three yeah it doesn't matter now this is the part that will fix all crashes in the game so if you're having problems crashing like you play for 10 minutes and it crashes this will fix your problem so you want to have this on fast have the Dolby Pro Logic 2 decoder and now this is the part that is most important see how I have it at a open AL usually you have it on X Audio 2 X Audio 2 will crash your emulation so you either want to use D sound open AL or no audio no audio output I use open AL because it works the best for me GameCube you can have your memory card if you don't have anything there select it and you can browse where it's going to save it. So go to your Wii. Same idea. Paths. This is how you get the uh, little sh uh, game in the background. You just add the directory to it. It's pretty simple. Now you want to go to your graphics. Um, you need to make sure you find one that works for you. It really depends on what you have. I use Direct 3D 11. It's the best one, I believe. Then you need to make sure you have your graphics card selected. If you have the Microsoft Basic Render Driver, it will not work. So make sure you have this one selected. I have an R7 262 gigabyte, so it's pretty decent. Um, I have a full screen resolution of 6040 by 480. Honestly, I'm playing in window mode, so like I don't need the 1080 shit. So yeah, this is what works. What I like to use because I like to be able to manipulate the controls on the fly without having to Alt Tab, Force 4 by 3. Pretty decent enhancements. Make sure you have Auto Window Size None for anti-aliasing and One X for anti-stropic filtering have the scaled EFB copy selected and that's about it for enhancements go to hacks do not run hacks guys it will crash your game but if you think you can handle it try your hardest I like to see you try I'm just kidding guys it will run but it won't run as smoothly and you will encounter more crashes but just make sure you have these settings uh, selected anyways have the RAM and enable cache because it does affect it somehow and you want to make sure your texture cache is set on fast not safe but fast you want to go to disable for external frame buffer and other for in, in the other section make sure you have fast depth calculation and the open mp texture decoder these are the two I chose and it works and have all of these unchecked and it should work guys now you, the last and final step is to um, open up your properties on the game have these all selected except your DSP HLE emulation it makes it run like fast forward really really fast Every settings here will make it run faster, and it just, this is the best way to keep it around 100, 120. Because that's honestly the best way to play the game. It's 100, 120% speed. 
and now you want to go to these two. Have these two selected, even though they're not meant for the uh, Wind Waker game. They work pretty well for it. So have these two selected. Hit close. And now, if you do want to edit your game settings, I recommend you do. Um, it's, if you have a mouse that has what six buttons on it, that's what I have. I have one. Yeah, six. I have these selected here. Um, change it the way you want it. It really does not matter. I don't, I don't give a fuck. You can have these all blank, and I would not give a fuck. And now, guys, to see if the game actually runs is pretty simple. You just either click it, but I'm going to show you how to get it if you don't have it there. You go to open, and you want to go to your Legend of Zelda Wind Waker file, and it says S3. Zelda, da, da, da. click it. If you, you should uh, get this warning message. Click OK. It doesn't really mean shit. And as you can see here, it's running. It's getting around 60 frames per second, but I have it maxed out at 30 frames per second later on, so it will switch to that as soon as the game starts. So, yeah, it's at 30. And if you have a lower end PC, you will not get as many frames, so I recommend uh, lowering the frame rate. So, yeah, if you're trying to get 60 FPS, like I can get 60 FPS, but what happens is the game speeds up too much and it's really annoying. I don't know how to fix that, guys, but um, yeah, I can get better frames, but. To lock it at 30, which is the way I like it, I will encounter some lag when recording. So, that's the reason why I'm only getting 93% emulated. So, it's because I'm using my graphics card to record, because I'm using OBS, which is like a graphics card based recording software. It doesn't lock down your CPU. Oh god, I accidentally, yeah, all tabs. So, yeah, guys, it does work. Like, you can hear my little mouse click. And it works pretty well, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I guess I'm a little knowing that's good fucking shit, dude. Shut the fuck out. God damn. God damn. God damn. Alright, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And possibly your penis size below. I would enjoy to hear that about your penis sizes. Alright, thanks for watching.